Welcome back to Empyrean Galactic Survival Reforged Eden. Today, I'd like to talk about the registry. To access the registry, I usually hit the M key, and then it's this little list looking icon up here. And this basically lists all of the POIs and structures, creations on a given planet or in a solar system. Here, this list is everything that's on my current starting planet of Taladar. So let's say we want to create a waypoint for something. Say we want to find the Hongo. You just select it on your list, click waypoint. It puts this little arrow over here on the right. And then let's just scan around and see if we can find it. There it is, the Hongo, 915 meters away. If you want to get rid of that icon, you can just go in here, click waypoint again. It takes it off. Another way is you can hit the reset waypoints button, but that clears all the waypoints you have set up. So I've got one here for my base, got one for the Hongo, and somewhere else in one of these other sectors, I've got one set up for a refiner. Let's delete all of those, reset the waypoints. So another thing you can do is uh, access ships and bases that are within range. And I believe on planet, this has a range of one kilometer and in space it has a range of up to three kilometers. So let's say I want to get my CV warmed up. That's the Ascension ISV. That's Jay Randall's newest starter CV creation that I'm just trying out here. So you find that on your list. Click the control panel and then you can uh, access your ship systems. She's fired up. You can access all of the main list items here. All of your signal controls. You can take a look at all your devices. Uh, I've gone over this in previous videos, but you can change the names of your containers or uh, other items, other devices you have installed on the ship. You can create a waypoint from that as well if you want to. It's probably just shooting at some predators around here. Pretty cool ship. I'm happy with it so far. It's a little lacking in the thruster department, but it is a starter CV. So you start with a, a small base and upgrade and improve as you go throughout the game. I don't even actually have a shield in it yet. So that could be a problem. Thrusters are on, everything's good to go. I'll try and stay out of trouble for the most part. All right, let's lift off into space and see what else we can do with the registry. So let's say I wanted to find that refinery. Let's go to the registry, and I don't know if it's in Taladar Sector. Let's try here first. Doo, doo, doo. Uh, no, I don't see it here. Unfortunately, there's no search function. Like There's no way to type something in that you might be searching for. So you have to pour through the menus. There we go, there's a refinery for a U way, so I'd have to warp to Alpha 4. Let's set a waypoint on that. Now, we should be able to find that waypoint. There it is, refinery. Got some pentaxid, yep. Okay, and you don't need to actually set a, you don't need to lock onto a target if you have a waypoint set. You just need to point yourself at it, hit K, and away you go. There's the refinery over there, 10 clicks away. Let's do the reverse and plot ourselves a course home. Well, let's go back into the registry, go back to Taladar, the planet, not the sector, and let's try to locate our base. There it is. Set a waypoint to it. We can see we have a waypoint set up there. So all I need to do is point towards it, hit K, and again, it's just as good as locking in a warp target. As long as you're within range, of course. And away you go back home. Nice thing about setting a waypoint to your base or a waypoint or a POI, sorry, on the planet is that it tells you exactly 
where on the rotation of the planet your base is. So we can see that I can make planet fall in eight kilometers, but if I go another two kilometers to ten and a half currently, I'll come in right over top of the base. All right, here we are about a kilometer away from the base. So let's dive into the atmosphere. All right, so let's stop here just over a kilometer away and see if we can access uh, one of the ships that's parked at the base. Harvester RE 1.1 away. Control panel, look at that. I use that especially when uh, I've got an SV attached to the top of the carrier and I'm kind of getting ready to jump out and do some mining or something like that. It's handy to be able to go through the registry and turn the vehicle on while you're still traveling around. Let's get some night vision going. Whoa, there we go. I need to make my landing pad a little bigger. Now usually you have to discover the POIs on a planet or in a sector to be able to uh, have them appear on the list here. Say for instance, you're looking for abandoned POIs. So if you click bases, that removes all of the resource deposits and ships so you get just bases you can look for cvs so the only thing that appears on the list on the list then would be yours or another we what did we see there we saw sunak class in alpha 2 i believe it was alpha 4 baby yeah alpha 4. so you can take a look if you're hunting ships this one does svs of course you can see there's only my SV, HVs, there's my harvester. Now this is your own waypoints and these are not waypoints that you that you would set through the registry here by hitting the waypoint button. This would be waypoints that you create. You would have to actually go to the map, right click and then set the waypoint that way and it should appear in the registry then. There it is, Alpha 4. Reset waypoints. And it didn't get rid of it. You can go back in here, click on your info panel. This shows the waypoints that you have actually created. So you can go through here and then delete it that way. Remove, edit, share with your faction. This is show only the terrain placeables so I've got a couple atmospheric condensers and then this one is only the resources so that's quite handy be able to scan through here quickly and see what resources are close a couple asteroids there I've discovered this is mostly only useful when you're on a multiplayer or a co-op server is that you can shut off all of the other waypoints that are not your faction or not private ones. And that'll just show you what you've got created basically here. Click that back on to show the entire thing or vice versa. You can click that off to get rid of yours if you only see the NPC or game created assets. Okay, so this button will show you waypoints that you've activated through this button on the registry menu. Yeah, there's a lot of back and forth that you have to do, some kind of confusing conventions that they've chosen to add to this system. I think a great improvement would be a place to actually type in what you're searching for. But until the search function is added, this is the way to go through the registry. Thanks for hanging out through that episode. If you liked that, check this one out. Or maybe that one. Show me a sub and a thumb.